So we started warming up, stretching, doing some light jogging, and somebody told me, Coach, you have a player down. I was like, okay. So I looked and, you know, obviously it was Pablo. So I got over there and realized the severity of the situation. I think I got two steps outside of the athletic training room and I was met by two JV soccer players that said, we need you. Um, at the baseball field, one of our players has collapsed. And when I heard the word collapsed, I jumped up and ran towards the AED and grabbed it. As, and as I was grabbing it, I saw she was already out the door running. I started running and was met by a varsity player who said, you should hurry, he's not breathing. That is a long way from the athletic training room to center field of baseball. Uh, and when I looked out to center field, I saw um, Dylan, the JV head boys soccer coach, uh, doing compressions. You know, my team, they acted and they saw, they saw a teammate down and they, they went to help. A couple of them went to go get Katie, a couple of them called 911. Um, one player called Pablo's mom. So they all just instinctively knew what to do. We got the pads put on him, let it analyze his rhythm. It advised a shock, so we delivered the shock. EMS appeared out of my periphery and they took over. We, we handed off care and they did a phenomenal job and had him speaking before they put him on the gurney. There was a guy kneeling next to me and he said, uh, you scared us? And I said, like, what do you mean? And then he said that your heart stopped. So that's all I remember um, from that day. So it was a, a miraculous thing to watch from where we started to where we finished. You know, we talk about team sports. You know, it was truly a whole team effort. It wasn't just one person. It was everyone working together to really get the get the job done and help save Pablo's life. So many things kind of lined up. So I'm incredibly thankful for my friends um, who could recognize something was wrong so quickly. Uh, for my coach who could detect that there was no false and he started doing CPR. The team at Atkins had it the drill down pat to where they were able to get my pulse back within a minute and I'm incredibly thankful for that. Do you feel like they saved your life? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. It was um, great forethinking by um, central office, especially just with not just the AEDs but for the athletic trainers. It's an investment. Incredibly thankful, not only that they had one but that was fully charged and that they were able to recognize that's what I needed. It's an investment that was needed, still needed, um, and I'm so thankful that they made that investment. I would have never thought anything like this could ever happen, and it did, and it's just about being surrounded by the right people. They were just there for me, and um, yeah, I'll never forget this. He's hanging out with his friends, talking. It's, I mean, it's the best thing you could ask for, you know, to see him coming into your classroom and in through the door every day. Oh, I've never been so happy to see somebody upright. It's fantastic to see him walking, living his best life. I mean, it's, that's what we're here for. That's why we do what we do.